We've seen some interesting camera hardware in recent times. I'm sure most of you know how the color filter sensor on the OnePlus 8 Pro gave us a kinda sort of X-ray vision. Well, it looks like Samsung might be next. The time of light sensor in some of their flagship phones might apparently have the ability to see in dark. Awesome, right? Let's find out more about that in today's video. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech, and if you do end up enjoying this video, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get started. So this is the app in action right now. As you guys can see, it's pitch dark, yet the camera can make out our surroundings. Now, I know the image looks really blurry and that's because the time of light sensor on Samsung flagships can only output at lower resolutions. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, is this really the TOF sensor or is it something like the primary camera with a really bad filter on it? Well, let me show you this. Trying it out with the S20 Plus, covering up the main sensor, it's still working. Next, we cover up the 64 megapixel telephoto, it's still working. And finally, the 12 megapixel ultra wide. Nope, it still shows us an image. So unless we are covering the TOF sensor, the night vision app works flawlessly. So let me give you a quick little tour of this night vision app. We can download it from the Play Store, link as always in the description below. This is what we see once the app is open. Since this is an early access app, we don't really have any options, not even a shutter key. The only control we have over the app is that we can pinch to zoom in and out. If you really want to take photos and videos using this, you're going to have to use the screen grabs. That's the workaround for now. So how does this actually work? How can we use a simple TOF sensor? Basically, it's a depth sensing unit. How do we use it to see in the dark? Well, hold on to your seat belts. This is going to get a whole lot sciency. So there are a few common night vision techniques like uh, image intensification or thermal imaging. Time of light sensors though, they use a different principle called active illumination. So what we have here is a time of light module. It consists of a lens, an integrated light source, a sensor and an interface. So once a scene is illuminated with a continuous light source, the receiver, in this case the sensor, collects the reflections. Based on the time interval or phase difference of the reflections, a depth map is produced. The thing to note here is that a DOF sensor can capture both depth as well as intensity information. Now one interesting thing here is that even though it is based off reflections, light intensity will not affect the sensor much unless it's something like direct sunlight. That can make the sensor saturated and distort the image PD dub. So it works quite well in dark and even very low light conditions. To be fair, it does run into some trouble over smooth surfaces like when we were shooting this glass pane at our office, we could literally see the IR waves coming from the camera because that's a very reflective surface. Now coming back to the viewfinder, we can make out the shape and some of the textures or whatever on screen. Uh, we also have a few different colors. So what do they mean? Well, green means it's far away and red means it's really close. We can also see some blacked out portions which are basically the places where the sensor did not pick up a reflection or areas that are out of range. Uh, speaking of range, generally TOF sensors come with a range of a few millimeters to a few meters. Now Samsung isn't the only company to employ a TOF sensor. Some Huawei phones also have them. So as far as compatibility with this app is concerned, Samsung flagships like the S20 Ultra, S20 Plus, Note 10 Plus, and even the S10 5G are supported. The S20 Ultra is actually not in the list of compatible phones, but it worked flawlessly with the app. Older Samsung devices can only display out through the TOF sensor at uh, 240 by 180 pixels, but the newer ones are sharper. They can display uh, 320 by 240. When it comes to Huawei, the Huawei P30 Pro and the Honor View 20 are the only two supported, but the app is adding support for new devices fast and a recent update, uh, it got the LG V60 working with it. So yeah, you can look forward to more. So is this something you can actually use? Not really, it is more like a cool party trick. Maybe you could use it in theaters to find your way without switching on a flash. Honestly though, the TOF sensor doesn't show anything that we can't see by simply turning on the flash. Now, if you guys uh, can think of any innovative uses for this, let me know in the comments below. And with that, we come to the end of the short little video. If you do end up liking it, then please subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. And thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.